day 143 of isolation. I've been working at home for a full week. I've been the one that's hit the grocery stores a couple of times. Just got back from getting gas. Got some stuff for the dogs because we needed stuff for little dogs. Really good trick. Um, here, I'll show you. If you have dogs, you can use a poop bag as a glove. So when I went and got gas, I just put this on. This is what I used to pump, but I also brought wipes and I wiped everything down, all the buttons and everything, just to be helping, I guess. Just because the, the gas station people can't be out there every single time people do it. So whatever, I had some wipes, wiped it down, used this. Then I had another one that I used when I went to get the dog stuff. And then I had another one that I used when I went to Safeway. Use a poop bag. Because of all of this, I am still off my diet. I think I will go back on it next week. We'll see. But today I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic for some theme park food. So I'm going to try and make what Charmaine and I think are the best theme park pretzels in Orlando. Our opinion. And that is the pizza pretzels and the jalapeno pretzels at Universal Studios. The ones right in front of La Bamba. They're so good. I'm going to try to make them. I've got nine cups of water that I'm going to bring to a boil. And I'm going to put in half a cup of baking soda. And I thought I was going to have to use this yeast. It was all we could find uh, last time we were at Superstore. But we do have still some of this package yeast. So I'm just going to use this. There is one packet of yeast in the mixing bowl. And I've heated up one and a half cups of water and we'll let the yeast wake up Let's give it a little stir one tablespoon of brown sugar give it another little stir yeast can start eating that sugar a tablespoon of butter now the recipe calls for one teaspoon of salt but it also called for unsalted butter. I use salted butter because I didn't have unsalted, so I'm gonna go with three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So I've just put in the half cup of baking soda. It's a lot of baking soda, but it's nine cups of water. Okay, I got some very happy yeast there munching away in that brown sugar. And now I'm adding in one cup at a time flour. And I think it's going to be four cups of flour. Three cups, one more has to go in, but I'm just giving it a little a moment here just to drip off the hook. And I'll put in one more cup. Maybe I'll put in half a cup and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is three and a half cups. Just want to say KitchenAid. Oh, great investment for your kitchen, 100%, because this made making dough so easy. Just let the machine do all the work. I barely did anything. I'm just letting that dough rest. Well, not really rest, but just sit there for about 10 minutes. I get putting it in a warm place. It'll help it puff up. So I thinly sliced one jalapeno pepper and grated, I don't know, that's about a cup a little more than a cup of cheddar and about a cup of mozzarella. So I'm making these ropes of pretzel dough and then I'm twisting them up. I think I need to make them a little bit bigger. Here are my finished pretzels. You can see these ones I did a little bit longer ago. They're puffing up a little bit more because the yeast is still going. So now here's the water. So these pretzels will go in for about 25 seconds and then I take them out again. Otherwise it's gonna taste funny. All right, put my first one into the water. Okay, here it is so far. So I've just taken them all out of their little quick boil, 30 second boil and I put a little egg wash over all of them. And now I'm gonna start making them really fancy. 
this pan of pretzels is gonna be the pizza pretzels. So we just put some pizza sauce on it and some mozzarella. Now I'm gonna add the pepperonis. All right, those are the pizza pretzels. That's just gonna be a regular pretzel pretzel. And then these ones, jalapeno cheddar. Oh boy, they look good. So I'm gonna put them in the oven, 425 for about 15 minutes. Well, what do you think of these? <laughs> they look pretty awesome. And I would say these turned out really good too. We'll have to try them, but they look good. That one looks really good too. Here it is, it looks really good. That's really good. It's definitely fresher than the ones I've got at Universal. It's really good. This jalapeno cheddar pretzel is very, very good. I really like it. It actually wasn't that hard to make and it was delicious. Yummy. Those pretzels were so good. Oh, I can't believe actually how, how good those turned out. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. But now I want something sweet. So I'm gonna make something you may have never heard of. It's a Canadian delicacy known as a butter tart. Five and a half cups of flour and I'm putting in an entire pound of lard. That's right, lard. That's a pound of lard. What kind of lard? I don't know. Lard. Anyways, oh, a whole pound. Yikes. This is a pastry cutter. You can use one of these or you can use a food processor. Um, I don't feel like messing up a food processor. So all you do after you put that lard in is you just start cutting it up into smaller and smaller and smaller chunks. And you just sort of keep working it. And it just takes a little while. And I'll come back to it when it's all done. So one egg and a tablespoon of vinegar and then I fill up this one cup measure until it's full and that goes into the dough mixture as well. So this is the egg vinegar and cold water mixture and just using a fork I'm just going to start adding it in to the lard and flour and salt and then just keep working it till it's a, a, like a regular dough. After a lot of work and pushing and kneading it up with that cutter, finally got down to these little balls and I'm wrapping them up in cellophane and I'm gonna keep them in the fridge for at least three hours, but actually it's gonna be overnight. Welcome to the next day. I'm going to continue making butter tarts and this is my breakfast. So good. These pretzels came out perfectly. Mm. The recipe is pretty straightforward. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Then we have one third of a cup over here. One third of a cup of corn syrup. Then we've got two tablespoons of maple syrup. We have a teaspoon of vinegar. We have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we have an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And we just kind of whisk that all together. Oh, and two eggs. Vinegar, vanilla, corn syrup, and the brown sugar. Salt and raisins. And for really no reason at all, let's make this batch of easy uh, Dr. Utger Sheriff butter tart filling. Let's see if there's a big difference between homemade and Dr. Utger. I get a little bit annoyed sometimes when I get recipes that call for weights rather than measurements. I know it's 
I know it's more accurate. So this one called for 60 grams of butter. That is 60 grams of butter. Here's another Canadian fact, factoid. I don't know. Canada uses the metric system, but some things we don't use the metric system. And one of those things is cooking. So cooking, we always use cups, quarter cups, just like the United States. But this recipe, you, because it's Dr. Utger, which is a European brand, is calling for everything in milliliters and grams. But yeah, so it needs 60 milliliters of water. These are the instructions. It's pretty straightforward after you get your measurements right. Butter, water, heat. I just turned off the gas. And I add in this pouch and stir it all up. I'm gonna start rolling out the dough nice and flat. So here are my little tart circles. And I have buttered these, this pan. And now it's just a matter of sort of tucking them in and then popping them in the oven once it's all full. So I have the packaged mix in the oven, 375 for 15 minutes. And the homemade ones are gonna go into this oven for eight minutes at 450 degrees and then another eight minutes or so at 400 degrees. And this is the homemade version, ready to go into the oven. Here are the butter tarts. I'm making dinner, I'm making some uh, meatball subs. Trying to use up our food and we these have been in the freezer for a while so I thought I better use these big buns up and I had some meatballs because I had some hamburger that I needed to use. Got a little bit of pepperoni I'm thinking of adding in. So yeah, pepperoni meatball subs. So you can see how I'm doing this. First I put in some of the uh, tomato sauce, then the cheese, and then meatballs. Oh, these are gonna be so good. What do you think of that? Yum. I think I told you before, I like putting vinegar on my french fries. And these are, this is vinegar I made with peppers that we grew. Well, here they are. This is the packaged butter tart. This is the homemade. Here's the, the one that came from a packaged. It's good, very basic. And this is the homemade one. Homemade is always better. There's maple syrup in the homemade one. It's so good. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time from the Holy Moly. Bye-bye.